I don't want to. I can't do it. Can you go with me? When someone says these things, they may truly feel as though they don't want to, they can't, or they need someone to go with them. However, there's another thing that may be at play. Social anxiety. Perhaps when the person says that they don't wish to do something, they mean that they don't know what to do in that particular situation, so they don't want to go and potentially make a fool of themselves. The same reasoning applies towards those that say they can't do something. As for the last question, perhaps the individual just needs a trusted friend to go with them into a new situation or location. Perhaps the anxiety the individual feels is too strong and debilitating, and without a friend to be there with them, they will feel incapable of doing something. Social anxiety disorder, or social phobia, is where a person has an excessive and unreasonable fear of social situations. With individuals who have social anxiety disorder, they may fall into one of two categories, generalized, where most social situations are avoided or feared, and non-generalized, where a person has a greater level of anxiety towards certain situations, such as public speaking. Some symptoms that may be present when someone suffers from this disorder are being very afraid of others' judgment, avoiding public places, having difficulty speaking or being with others even though they wish they could, and worrying for an extended period of time before an event where others will be present. Several different factors are at play when one deals with social anxiety, with genetics, our brains, and our life experiences being three of the most commonly accepted ones. However, with a greater understanding of the disorder, one can begin lessening the effects. Often that can be achieved through cognitive behavior therapy, CBT, or through doctors, who are also known to prescribe medication for social anxiety disorder. When someone mentions that they truly do not wish to participate in something, we should take into account their level of anxiety first. Anxiety can be truly debilitating, so we should be patient and supportive of those who experience it. If you know a friend that suffers from social anxiety, how do you help them? If you yourself experience anxiety, do you know any ways to cope with it? Share your ideas down below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to follow our Tumblr, Twitter, and Facebook for more content. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.